I should probably just start at the beginning. The name's Sly. Sly Cooper, and I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business. And business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they would just finished work on a top secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus, the Master Thieves' handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team, and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out. Especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations, and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone, or something, was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution. Time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now, he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. 
So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. Okay, you both remember the plan, right? Of course! My mind is like a steel cap! Uh, that's trap, big guy. And everybody relax. We've been over it a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Look, we're only gonna get one shot at this, so we can't mess up! All right, no messing up allowed. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. Just another one of my many talents. If you find the need to adjust your perspective on things, you can move. Excellent. It's perfect for peeking around corners. Press the circle button while jumping to interact with the sparkling object. I remember. That's how I pull off some of my best moves. Avoid those choppers, Sly. If they see you now, we're busted. I think I can handle that. Hey, Bentley, was truck surfing part of Murray's entrance strategy? Of course not. Murray's approach route is for the back alley. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Anyway, it looks like he's in position now. Make sure you stay on these cables, Sly. You can't risk going down to street level right now. Not a problem, Bentley. A good thief prefers to stay above the action anyway. Looks like the perfect night for a heist. <laughs> is getting tougher, Sly. Steer clear of the guards and lights. Avoid sprinting around the guards, too. They'll hear your footsteps. I'll be a ghost, I promise. Sure feels good to be back in business. I told you it would be a piece of cake. Oh. Guess I'm a little out of practice. You say something, Sly? Uh, no. All good here, Bentley. Okay. It looks like you're going to have to find another way up. Use that ledge to move around to the front of the museum and stay out of that security light. I think I can handle that. It sure looks like somebody spent a fortune on this place. I wonder what kind of surprises they have inside. Oh 
Okay, Bentley, I'm in place. Let me know when you shut down the security system. Patience, Sly. You can't rush greatness, and I'm about to code a hacking masterpiece. Interesting. The last time I was in these sewers, I was just a teenager. My mom should make short work of that grate. I just need to... Well, that was a blast. <laughs> Great, that platform is blocked. I'll have to throw a bomb to clear it off. That's a direct hit. If I fall in that filthy water, I'm buying a new shell. Why didn't I wear my rubber gloves? Hmm, according to the schematics, the control room is right underneath me. And voila, instant shortcut. Phew, talk about your close shaves. How's that security system coming, Bentley? Uh, um, great, perfect. I'll be done in a jiffy. <laughs> Next time, I'm giving Sly the sewer job. Now for a patented Bentley hack attack. <laughs> Hello, old friend. We have to reach the main docking gate before the security code flushes us from the system. The left stick should navigate the ship. The right stick should control the bit cannon. The bit cannon can blast right through that firewall. Bit cannon performing well. Moving while firing is key to cracking this system. I need to use the data key on that lock to defeat the firewall. Right, there's gotta be a lock for this around here. Dang it, this reinforced firewall is too strong for the big cannon. If I use that upgrade slot, I can engage my Panzer gun. Oh yeah, time to bring out the big guns, baby. These Gigabomb shells will crush those firewalls. Security drones! I can either dodge them or blast them! Alright, I can use the data key to disable that firewall! And that's the way the code base crumbles! Okay, Murray, you're up! The Murray is always on, Bentley! Okay, Murray, we need to get you back in fighting shape. Why don't you warm up with a few basic attacks? Press the square button to punch. Oh, yeah! The old muscle memory is really kicking in! Press the triangle button to charge up. Then release it for a wicked spinning attack. Yes! Nobody can withstand the pink tornado! To perform a thunderflop, jump, and press the triangle button while in the air. Oh, thunderflop! How I miss you! You'll learn not to fool with the Murray! My knuckles are just getting warmed up! Alright, make your way to the loading dock. You've got to take out all the guards before I can open the gate. You punks better call for backup! Huh? We're 
Where did you come from, shortstop? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for you guys! Who wants a piece of- That felt great! Uh, everything okay, Murray? Now it is! Murray, don't forget to use your throwing ability! Press the circle button to stop near an object and you will pick it up! Then press the square button to throw the object. If you press the triangle button instead, you can slam the object down. Okay, Sly. The security system is down. You're all clear. Great. I'm going in. What the? You didn't really think you were gonna get away with it, did you, Ringtail? Hey, Carmelita! Oh, funny meeting you here. Sly Cooper, you no good lying thief! I'm locking you up for good! Sorry, gotta take a rain check. I'll call you. Cooper! Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. You, Sly! Now quit stepping around and get down here! We're in the van and ready to roll! Au revoir. Let's hit it! Buckle up, boys! Oh yeah! Just like in the Demolition Derby! Look out! Oh, I think I cracked myself! Watch out for those trees! Where are you going? Just setting up for the jump! Welcome to Air Murray! Thanks for flying! Nice landing, Murray. Hey, Bentley, not to complain, but we're kind of trapped here. Relax, Sly. Just put the dagger in the receptacle. Perfect. Isotopic decay calibrated. Adjusting fusion synthesis. Anytime you want to punch it, Murray. You got it, chum! Do not slow down, Murray! I never do! Whoa! What else can I say about Carmelita? As you can see, our relationship is... complicated. And I just succeeded in upgrading it to... hazardous. I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. She'd been so busy with her latest case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. In fact, I'd kind of been counting on it. But then, I should have known better than to underestimate Inspector Carmelita Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. And now, I had a lot of explaining to do. But the plan was in motion, and there was no stopping now. Even though I was thinking I'd need the time machine just to patch things up with Carmelita. Before the heist, we'd recruited our disco-loving, scuba-diving friend, Dimitri Listow, to look after the Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was irreplaceable and the only guide we had, it was far too risky to take the book through time with us. Bentley had even invented a communication device to allow us to contact Dimitri no matter where or when we travel. It was a perfect situation, since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. Everything was happening so fast. The past few days were just a blur. But as we howled through the time vortex, I realized we were in for a very long trip. We needed to locate Ryuichi Cooper, Master Ninja, and Master Chef. According to the Cooper clan history, Ryuichi Cooper was actually the inventor of sushi. 
After creating this delectable dish, he opened a sushi restaurant, which, while very prosperous, also provided the perfect cover for a ninja. When we got to Japan, it was obvious something was very wrong. What should have been a peaceful village was more like a heavily patrolled military base. We located Ryuichi Sushi Restaurant only to find it shut down and under guard. Things got worse when Bentley discovered that Ryuichi was locked up in a new high security jail, allegedly for serving bad sushi to the shogun. It all sounded like a pretty tough piece of fish to swallow. We needed to get to the bottom of the situation, and the first order of business was getting Ryuichi out of prison. Camera work? Correct a mundo, Monami. I need some shots of the prison entrance and the samurai armor those big guards are wearing. You should also grab some shots of Ryuichi's restaurant. We may need those for later. Capiche? Uh yeah. I got you, pal. But maybe we should stick with English. Sayonara, Cooper Sod. I can't believe we made it out of Paris in one piece. Real ugly, too. That was definitely not his best side. Mm, I really don't like the look of that place. <laughs> Something tells me the inside looks even worse. How will I explain this to Carmelita? Time travel? She'll never believe it. Well, that might be the largest gate I've ever seen. The thief in me just needs to know what's behind it. And I think the next time I see Emilita, I'd better duck first and ask questions later. Remind me to buy you your own camera. Get back here. Definitely looks out of place. I better get a shot of this guy's ugly mug for Bentley. He should be crawling around a tropical jungle somewhere. I'm pretty sure they didn't smoke Cuban cigars in ancient Japan. by Interpol. He's a ruthless mercenary general responsible for overthrowing several small countries. So what kind of mess are we in, Bentley? I don't know. 
But one thing's certain, my hunch was correct. We aren't the only ones with a time machine. Your database security, Murray's pants. Whatever, Sly, this is no laughing matter. I've checked, and there really is no way in except for the front entrance. I think there's only one option. The doorbell. Very funny. No, you're going to need a disguise. Get yourself a suit of armor from those guards. That's our way in. Roger that. Just call me Samurai Sly. Good job, Sly, you got the helmet! That's the chest plate, now you just need the leggings! Major Mugshot. Huh? Mugshot? I've never heard of you. Ha! Huh, you dare question me? Son, I've been a guard since you were just a squealing piglet. Wait until I tell the general about this. I hear he loves pork chops. Wait, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. Please, go right in. You might want to put on that armor before the guards can spot you. That samurai armor should do the trick here. Only coward time! Hey, Ryoichi Cooper. Are you okay? Your guards all seem to make very poor jokes. Come on. I'm not one of those bozos. I'm here to bust you out. The name's Sly. Ah, uh, I see. A fellow ninja. Very good. You will need to make your way to the Dragon Bridge to reach this cage. Hurry up! Okay, I'll be there soon. Just... stay put. <laughs> Very funny. I can't believe they caught Ryoichi. Huh. They must have gotten lucky. <laughs> Fly, that samurai armor is highly unique. I've done some tests, and I'm positive it's fire resistant. While wearing it, you should be able to walk directly through place. Fly, that armor is pretty tough, but I'm barely certain it won't stop a giant axe. That was a hot situation! Ryoichi Cooper. I can't believe it. He's a legend. Sly, I don't think you can break the lock on that gate. 
And even if you could, there's no time. Thanks, Bentley. How about some good news? Look around, Sly. One of these guards must have the key. See, that's more like it. prisoner much longer. I do not know you, but only a true Koopa could have reached this cage. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to alarm you, but my full name is Sly Cooper. Uh, I'm your relative. From the future. Do not worry, ninja are never alarmed. With all that has happened here lately, I believe you. Oh, oh. Now perhaps you will open the cage so that we may escape certain death. Right, of course. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh. After rescuing Ryuichi, we returned to the hideout. Unfortunately, there wasn't much time for family reunions. We needed to figure out what was going on, and fast. Ryuichi confirmed that the source of the trouble was the tiger we had tracked in the village, someone calling himself El Jefe. After some more database digging, Bentley was able to uncover his Interpol file. El Jefe had an impressive record. Over the years, he had taken over dozens of small countries around the globe usually for the highest bidder. He was a ruthless mercenary and military strategist of the highest order. In fact, he once boasted that he could overthrow a country commanding only three blind mice, armed with plastic spoons. According to his file, this guy had mysteriously vanished a while back, just as the authorities were closing in. Well, we had found him and we needed to take him down. It looked like we were in for a tough battle, so we decided to start with Ryoichi's Sushi Shop. Okay, Sly, it's time for Ryoichi to reclaim his sushi restaurant. It looks like the front door is the only entrance. We need to get rid of that guard if we're going to get Ryuichi inside. 
However, security is on high alert since we broke him out of jail, and we can't risk raising an alarm. I think this one is going to require some misdirection. What do you mean? I bet if you wore that samurai armor you stole, you'd be able to relieve that guard at the front door. Right. Plus, I just look good in armor. Please. No one gets in or out, understand? I don't want any more problems. Dismissed. your own place. Quite ingenious of you to use your sushi knives as door keys, by the way. Bentley son, I am a ninja master. Right. Uh my bad. Anyway, my scan reveals your sushi knives are still here. The bad news is the guards definitely have them. There are also some security traps you've definitely never seen before. Bentley son Though the bamboo forest is dense, water flows through it without effort. Oh, uh, yeah. Just be careful not to alert the guards. Now get those knives and take your restaurant back. Mm. I was unable to practice my techniques while locked in that cage. Let me recall the leaping dragon technique. <laughs> My scan indicates one of the nearby guards has your knife. First, I will reclaim my knives. Then I will show El Hefe this shop cannot be closed. And his friends are strong allies. I am truly in their debt. This is my finest knife. Sashimi will be perfect. All right, Ryuichi. Only one more knife to go. I really must clear this vermin from my restaurant. I will show a heavy. This shop cannot be closed. to this shop again.
It's been a long time since we went fishing, Bentley. I'm excited. Well, this is no vacation, Murray. We need to help Ryuichi get back on track as a sushi chef. And what he needs most right now is fish. We're here because these caves are his secret spot for catching the best fish. Unfortunately, judging from this security lock, it looks like El Jefe's been here too. Can you open it, buddy? Are you kidding? I've never met a system I couldn't hack. Don't worry, Murray. We'll be fishing in no time. Commencing hack. All right, navigation is smooth and steady. The right stick should fire by binary packets. Check. CPU is overclocked. I need to take it out before it reboots. Okay, Murray, we need to find the secret fishing hole. Let's try that gate over there. Think you can open it? No problem, chum. Fresh fish coming up. bugs will give you a nasty shock. Lucky for us, that large plant is a giant lamp leaf. Hitting it will make it glow and attract the bugs. Give it a whack and get those things out of our way. Awesome! You know how much I like to hit stuff. <laughs> jumping on those lily pads, Murray. This is one situation where your muscle mass may be problematic. toy robot. I've calibrated its output to coincide with the fish's own bioelectric fields, so if I can keep it close enough, it should attract them like a charm. Talk about animal magnetism. I just need to tilt like this to move it around. Yes! A superb striped rock sucker! Sweet jujubes! It's a rare giant ball of Lansky! I see you hiding there. That's right, come to... That's right, come to... Yeah, that big-eyed bug eater.
Okay, Murray, take that fish to the cart. Murray, you won't be able to activate that plant while holding the fish. Try throwing them into that old cart. You can pick them up again after you get rid of those lightning bugs. Man, this is a serious load! Think Ryoichi will make us some sushi as a reward? I'm not sure, but let's just get this fish back to him without El Hefe's goons turning us into sashimi. Never fear, Bentley. Nobody makes a hippo roll out of the Murray. The plan's simple. El Jefe only comes out of the castle to talk to Madame Geisha. If we want to know what he tells her, we're going to need her costume. The good news is, I discovered she's on vacation, and El Jefe doesn't know it yet. The bad news is, it looks like the Geisha house is locked up tight. There's no way to get in from the street. If only you could get to the roof. Ah, for a ninja, there is always a way. Okay. Talk to you inside, Bentley-san. <laughs> Ryuichi, it appears that Madame Geisha's outfit is locked inside that large container. Although you'll probably want to stay off the floor in here. No sense alerting the guards. Of course. Does a cat alert the rats? Uh, right. Okay. We can get in through the top, but judging from the lock mechanism, it appears to be open remotely. I'm going to need you to locate and activate the control devices. It looks like the doorway to the first wing is open. There's bound to be one in there, and a whole load of traps, so be careful. Arigato, Bentley-san. I do not see how Murray-san will fit into that outfit. Perhaps he is very flexible. These traps are almost too easy for a ninja. The device is just across the room! Okay, Ryuichi, lock me into that terminal. Okay, time to try out my new code cracker. I need to guide the spark through the circuit before that timer runs out. Good thing I programmed the guidance system to use my motion sensor. I just need to tilt in the direction I want the spark to travel. There's the central port! Gotta get there before the system shuts down! looks rather delicate. Have no fear, the Murray is here! Ah! 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 
Okay, Murray. It looks like we're going to have to try out your disguise a bit earlier than expected. I hope you remember the routine we rehearsed. You there! What's going on? Explain yourself! Konichiwa! I am the most famous Madam Geisha! Please allow me to entertain you! According to my calculations, this is the optimal location to launch the RC car. With the miniature microphone I installed, it should be a snap to follow El Jefe and see what he's up to. Looks like he's headed for the prison. Time to get rolling. Time to 
Penelope was always the RC queen. Oh, Penelope, where are you? I need to say, Mocha. Ah, even this magnificent prison pales when compared to my new statue fortress. New statue fortress? That must be where he's hiding out all the time. <laughs> Nobody would guess the palace gate switch is actually under the bridge. <laughs> You're messing with the wrong turtle, buddy. <laughs> Fishing caves. Good thing I sealed them. My dragon gates are invincible. As long as that lazy guard doesn't get distracted by sushi. Very interesting. I think we can probably help that guard out. <laughs> Even if those fools get to the dragon gates, they'll never figure out the switches are inside the dragon mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent! Keep flapping those big lips, sucker! Now I just need to find that blasted Ryoichi, so I can deliver the package to the boss. Package? Boss? We need to figure out what's going on in that palace. Konnichiwa, Hefei-san! Greetings, Madam Geisha. from those strange plants growing high on the cave wall. Commonly known as the spiky wall climber, it secretes a mild toxin we can use to make sushi rolls that will put any guard to sleep instantly. Just be careful not to be overcome yourself. Bentley son, did I not explain? You're a ninja master. I know, I know. Hey, no. Allow me to show you how it's done. Well, now at least I know where Sly gets it from. If Bentley's plan works, we can rid our land of this villainous tiger. I must strike the blossom to extract the poison.
all right, we have all the intel we need. El Jefe has played Dictator for the last time, and it's time to bring him down. First, we need to open those Dragon Gates. Thanks to Ryuichi's special sushi rolls, the guards are out for the count. Sly, you'll need to gain access to the switches in their mouths. Next, we'll need to open the Palace Sword Gate. However, the bridge is crawling with guards, so we'll need to create a diversion. Murray, you, Sly, and myself will need to distract the guards. Once they're occupied, Ryuichi can make his way under the bridge to the switch and open the gate. Once we get that gate open, there's nothing stopping us from taking the palace and putting El Jefe in his place. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> Okay, Sly, use those rollers to open the dragon bow. You'll find the switches somewhere inside. And don't forget your armor. Something tells me those things have very bad breath. Cooper! Get them, you fools! Okay, you all know what to do. Time to kick some butt! My favorite time of the day! Let's do this.
to deliver this puny stick to a new owner. No! El Jefe is getting away! Don't worry, Ryuichi. Watch after these two. I'm gonna kick some tiger tail and get your cane back. of my statue. Ha! <laughs> Looks like a real pigeon magnet. Ah! I hope you can fly like a pigeon, Cooper. Otherwise, you'll never catch me. We'll see about that. Magnificent likeness, isn't it, Cooper? Almost as handsome as the real thing! Huh, yeah. Looks almost big enough to contain your overinflated ego. Take a nice long look. I want you to remember the one who crushed you! Looks to me like you've got nowhere left to run, El Jefe. Ready to face me now? <laughs> Sticking up for the family, eh, Cooper? Too bad you'll never see any of them again! <laughs> oh, Cooper! You've climbed so high! And now... <laughs> you're gonna fall! <laughs> Gotta dodge these fireballs and get close. Welcome to your doom, Cooper! Bring it on, Cooper! on all cowardly crime lords. El Jefe. Hmm, isn't that Spanish for big baby? Ah, enough of these stupid games! Such a tough guy. He sure runs away a lot.
Estúpido rata. came back. Why won't you quit? Stop. El Jefe was defeated, disgraced, and delivered to the cops. But it was a hollow victory. I'd failed to get back Ryuichi's cane, and we still had no idea who was really behind this whole thing. One thing was for sure, it was somebody powerful enough to have his own private army. We contacted Dimitri for an update on the Thievius Raccoonus, and it looked like Tennessee Kid Cooper needed our help next. That meant we needed to travel back to the 1880s. Luckily, one of the goons that took Ryuichi's cane had dropped what looked like an old sheriff's badge. Bentley had been trying to figure out where it might be from, but now it all made sense. After sampling the badge, Bentley was able to calibrate the time machine. As we prepared to make the jump back to the Old West, I found myself wondering how Carmelita was doing. We arrived in the Wild West, looking for my ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper, a legendary outlaw whose bank robberies were some of the most daring in Cooper lore. When we arrived, it took some time to locate him, but we eventually found him in prison. His arrest was the handiwork of the local sheriff, who had celebrated by posting his own picture all over town. Talk about an ego. We needed to bust Tennessee out of jail. But after some furious calculations, Bentley determined that the best way to do that was from the inside. For the first time in my career, I was going to have to let the law catch me. This could be a real challenge.
Why, they're already rigging a noose for Tennessee, so we don't have time for a complicated plan. All my data points to one thing. The quickest route inside that prison is to get yourself arrested. Get myself arrested? I trust you, Bentley, but I'm not sure about getting locked up in this town. Sorry, Sly. It's the only way we're gonna reach Tennessee in time. There's just one problem. They're holding Kid Cooper in the maximum security wing. To get yourself thrown in there, you're gonna have to gain outlaw status. So you need to make sure you build a rep before they catch you. Otherwise, they'll throw you in with the common criminals. Ugh, you mean like jaywalkers and litterbugs? Not gonna happen. Well, around these parts, it's probably more like goat thieves and tobacco spinners. But you get the point. For starters, why don't you try defacing all those posters of the sheriff around town? That ought to put a burr under his saddle. Get it? Because we're in the old west? Well, anyway, I'll just let you get started. Find a poster, make it look goofy, and move on. Just like junior high. Very nice, Sly. Not for sale. It's puny greenhorn. Wow. I bet the original artist damaged his vision staring at this guy. Oh, he's going to hate that one. Let's hope so. It's called No Good Lawman. If I was as homely as this guy, I would not hang my picture everywhere. Excellent work, Sly. I wish I could tear them down. Here's Weakling of the West. I don't think Vane begins to describe this guy. That's a beaut, Sly. It's an improvement. I'll name this one the Homely Buckaroo. <clears throat> what kind of sheriff puts up posters of himself? Nice work, Sly. You're a regular Picasso. I love a challenge. I call it Ten Star Loser. This guy's a real egomaniac. I think you just achieved troublemaker status, Sly. <laughs> oh, now this really chucks my hide! I'm going to find this artist and bust his thumbs! And maybe his pinky. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely got under his skin, Sly. You ready for phase two? Absolutely. Apparently, the sheriff also loves lollipops, but his favorite is a particular Cuban variety, which has to be shipped in specially. Supposedly, they taste like rice and beans. Ugh, gross. Agreed. But if we clean him out, he'll have to wait weeks for the next shipment, and that should really tick him off. I bet Murray would like that lollipop. Great job! You just became a criminal, Sly! Alright, this is going perfectly! You'll be locked up in no time! You know, you're a little too excited about sending me to the slammer, Bentley. It's all about the job, Sly. Speaking of which, in case you hadn't noticed, this Sheriff Toothpick is his own biggest fan. In fact, it looks like he's throwing himself a festival, and it's in full swing. If you take that banner down, I'm sure it'll be the final straw. Right. 
Let's go rain on this guy's parade. Okay, I just need to get up to that banner. I can't believe this guy has an appreciation festival for himself. Okay, there's the banner. I just need to knock those clothes pins off. Hold your fires, boss! God damn, he's the scribble. Lolly thief and outlaw I've been looking for! Uh, ah, well, amigo. <laughs> you just book yourself a permanent room in this stony lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> to recon the area. I need to get some shots of that prison, but I better keep a low profile. I don't want to alert the guards. Sly and Tennessee Kid Cooper are in that high tower. an interesting side. Let me get a shot. Ah, unless I'm mistaken, that is definitely a munitions dump. Very handy. Aha! There is clearly some structural weakness along the rear wall. yourself. Looks like you must have ticked old toothpick off pretty good. I like that. You got a name? It's Sly. Sly Cooper. Now, son, you should know I don't take kindly to folks funning on my family name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear, I'm not joking. I can explain. Talk ain't worth spit, boy. Only one way to prove you're a Cooper. Bust us out of here. Right. My friend Bentley's working on that. I hope. Sly, press the square button to swing that ball. Sly, you need to make your way to the bottom of the tower. Sly, here's your chance. Use the ball to break down that door and bust Tennessee out. Okay, kids, stand clear. All right. I guess break time is you can, you can probably move that container if you hit it hard enough, Sly. Moving those containers is the key, Sly. Why am I the only one with a ball and chain here? Listen, friend, you're planning on having me tomorrow. You want to trade? Salutations, hello, greetings. Okay, as you boys should know, tomorrow is my birthday. But I do not care. I want the cake anyway. Yes, so I need you all to run on me on the big old chocolate cake with the candles and the frosting and lots of sprinkly things, right? Then I'm going to blow out my candles and eat my cake, all of it, while you sing me a birthday song. Fun, right? I'll just stay right here and lend you my moral support. <laughs> Attendance is mandatory. Oh, and don't forget my presence. Share it toothpick here. I wanted to remind you all that it's a 
Naturally. Thanks, Bentley. Son, who is it you keep talking to? Uh, I have a thing in my ear that lets me talk to my friend. And now he's telling me you need to carry some of that TNT so we can blow the gate. Sure. I got voices in my head telling me to blow things up, too. <laughs> They've been right so far. Let's get to it. <laughs> Wait by the door while you work this one out. Uh, uh, try not to well, forget who's like carrying the dynamite. Getting mighty complicated. Okay, okay. Nice job, Sly. I don't want to hear nobody's talking about it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Can't risk having any interlopers find their way inside. Understood? Good. To stick out. Fly, use that melting pot to move Tennessee forward. Just avoid the flames. Well, looks like our goose ain't cooked yet. Uh, 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 well, looks like our goose ain't cooked yet. Keep moving along. Fly, it appears that archway in front of the door is some kind of locking mechanism. And that block is the key. Now you just need to figure out how to get it in there. So, tell me about Sheriff Toothpick. Toothpick? That shady son of a gun is crookeder than a sack of corkscrews. He framed me for that bank job and took the gold himself. I just know it. All right. I guess break time is over. the ball to get across the floor, Mike. For once, I might be glad I'm carrying the TNT.
funny how I'm the one who's got to lug the dynamite. Well, let's get going. I ain't getting any younger. a Cooper the second I laid eyes on you. Thanks, but Tennessee, we need to go. You ready? Well, uh, not really. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Somehow, we had managed to survive and make it back to the hideout. Once there, Tennessee gave us the lowdown, how he'd been planning the bank heist that should have gone down in Cooper Lore as his masterpiece, only to have a mysterious new sheriff arrest him before he even reached the bank. Curiously, the robbery still occurred and all the bank's gold was stolen. Tennessee was charged even though he was already in prison and the gold was never recovered. Of course, he had a strong suspicion it was Sheriff Toothpick himself who had stolen the gold and framed him. And after a little research, there was no doubt he was right. Bentley was able to uncover plenty of information about the Sheriff. Although he changed his appearance somewhat, Toothpick was a two-bit gangster from present-day Eastern Europe. According to his file, he'd grown up loving two things, gold and cowboy movies. He eventually specialized in gold robberies, and for a while had masterminded some of the largest scores around the world. Then he abruptly vanished. The word was he had always thought of himself as a gunslinger, and it looked like he had found a way to make that a reality. The guy was a real loose cannon. We'd have to watch our backs if we were gonna steal back the missing gold and restore Tennessee Kid Cooper's reputation as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. Okay, the first order of business is getting Tennessee his guns back. Well, it's just the one gun now. I upgraded. But yeah, I need my shooting iron back. Agreed. Uh, according to my sources, Toothpick closed this old gold mine several months ago, declaring it unsafe. In fact, he's converted it to a storage facility for his stolen goods, including Tennessee's gun. We'll need to take measures with this job so as not to arouse suspicion. So, employing a masterful disguise, I'll tail Toothpick to the mine's entrance and mark it with a homing beacon. Murray, you'll then use the beacon to find your way there. Toothpick's sure to have secured the entrance, so we'll need your formidable skills to get it open. Then, once we have access, Tennessee can get in and get his gun back. Let's get to work. Okay, I need to keep up with this guy. I better stay close, but out of direct sight. Oh, uh, is better than some gold. And that's a lot of gold. I'm right behind you, Gabby. Ah, only one thing's better than some gold, and that's a lot of gold. I wish I could grow a real mustache. Oh, he's two bit down and worth the two bits they spent making it. Oh, a step in horse pool. And nobody's going to find this entrance. Time to take a little look at my gold. <laughs> 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 
To open up a can of hack. Oh, scorpions! Guys, help! Yeehaw! The cavalry's are coming! Don't worry, Benley! I got the bug spray right here! Code module and voila! Elastic projectiles! Perfect for shooting around corners! Security, thy game is hacked! than a hyperactive rattlesnake. Uh, hey, guys! This door's kinda... Uh, heavy. <laughs> Yee-haw! There's my gun! Uh-huh! That's right! The kid is back in business! Alrighty, me and old Blue need to get reacquainted. Let's see. First, I need to press and hold the L1 button to enter targeting mode. Once in targeting mode, I can use the right stick to place the cursor over a target. Then I just press the R1 button to pull the trigger. Yes, sir! It's all coming back to me. I wonder what old Toothpick is cooking up in here. This big old door is gonna require my crack shot technique. First, I press and hold the R2 button to enter crack shot mode. Next, I can use the right stick to move the cursor and draw a bead on multiple targets. Then I just release the R2 button to blast them. I can only use crack shot when my Cooper focus is full. This one's tricky. I need to shoot all those locks at the same time. Introducing the patrons, 
to my special home-brewed sarsaparilla. Your mustache looks... bigger. What have you been feeding it? Pay attention, Sly. You'll need to enter through that window and make your way to the ventilation system. Meanwhile, I'll have the goons inside so sugared up, they'll be seeing double until they crash. Hard. Once you launch the RC car in the vents, I'll take control and guide it to Toothpick's office. You're not going to start wearing that mustache all the time, are you? Jealousy is such an ugly emotion, Sly. Watch your back, pal. This place looks pretty rough. Will do. See you inside. I've been informed this establishment is in dire need of an expert tap jockey. <laughs> uh, I've got sarsaparilla? Well, these guys look thirsty. Let's see. I can move left and right simply by using the left step. When a patron steps up to the bar, I can slide him a drink by pressing the X button. These guys don't look like patient types, so I'd better make it fast. I'd better keep an eye on the sarsaparilla gauge. It's going to take my whole supply to quiet this bunch. The meter should indicate how much sarsaparilla I have left. Something tells me it's going to take every drop. These guys are soaking it up like sponges! Those big guys look like they're gonna need more than one drink! are still awake. I need to be careful. I just need to stay off the floor. Great, Sly. You just need to reach the ventilation duct. <laughs> just a little further to that vent. and the rest of his clean jumping gang. We's a going to learn a new dog yank a rattlesnake's tail, lest you look into it. Get bit! <laughs> then, we are going to finish loading up the train and haul our sweet little kisters out of this one-horse town. Once we get that loot back into present day, I, Toothpick, going to be worth uh, oopsie. Dang it, boss! Would you watch where you're pointing that thing? 
Are you talking to me? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't mean nothing. Now, oh, boys, I know I've heard out my lungs at you all about this already. But some of you ain't uh, heard it rightly, cause your lingo is uh, still stale as mumble cornbread. Shoot, the way you talk now, it were the blood nickel. Ah, it sticks in my craw. Ouch! Huh, that's not good. Looks like Toothpick rustled himself a pretty lady. Wait, jumping jackrabbit! That's no lady, that's Carmelita! What is she doing here? You know her? I'm afraid so. Something is very wrong here, Tennessee. But all quantum physics aside, we have to rescue her. Nobody could get there faster than you. I'll grab Sly and Murray, and we'll meet you in the van. Just get going! Heck, rescuing pretty ladies is a hobby of mine anyway. Whew. I am only too happy to get rid of this one. Her tongue sharp enough to cut leather. <laughs> Stinking cowards! Afraid to untie me and fight like men? I swear, when I get out of this... No sense fretting about that, little lady. Mm, cry, cry, little dear, yes. Just enjoy the ride! <laughs> <laughs> You, ma'am. Why, I'm Tennessee Kid. Don't tell me. You're a Cooper, right? I knew it. Yes, ma'am. Bentley told me you. Stop calling me ma'am. The name's Inspector Fox. Wait, Bentley's here? Well, looks like they're right behind us. Carmelita, I'm glad you're okay. Why, that conniving little. Much obliged for a helping hand, Inspector Fox. Let me run these banditos over to prison, and I'll be back for you, all in lickety split. Of course, you feeling neighborly? You could just turn yourselves in. <laughs> as much as I like the idea of Sly in a cell, nobody kidnaps Inspector Carmelita Fox and gets away with it. I reckon that also includes tying her to a runaway stage. Watch it. I'm in no mood for smart remarks. Now, are you ready for another mission, Tennessee? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I mean, I surely am, Inspector Box.
This river is dangerous, but it leads back to the prison. Way I figure it, they won't be expecting us to come this way. You sure you're up to this, Miss Fox? Uh, that's Inspector Fox? But just call me Carmelita. Thanks for the rescue, by the way. My pleasure. Inspector? Are you some kind of sheriff? How'd you get mixed up with Sly? It's a long, complicated story. Right now, I need to rescue that ringtail. So I can wring his neck! Wee, you are feisty! You remind me of this one little gal who... So, what's this prison like, anyway? Uh, well, plenty of fire, for starters. Terrific. Let's get going. Miss Carmelita, you didn't forget how to use that pistol, did you? Not a chance. I just press the R1 button to pull the trigger. And I can press and hold the L1 button to focus my aim. Kick his furry tail! I can't wait to give that ring a piece of my mind. Give him heck, Carmelita! These barrels are full of TNT! Better blast them before we get home to see the ring! a cattle call overhead! I can't believe Sly got me into this mess. Nice shooting, Carmelita! How about less sweet talk and more action? <laughs> Tennessee, it looks like you'll have to go on ahead. I'll find another way there. a sack of gold nuggets! Like we got company, Miss Carmelita, and not the friendly. Kid. I'll keep the raft still, and you blast those damn jackalopes. Why don't you guard? Just get out of my way. We got attackers to the left. Maybe you can just focus on the mission, Tennessee. Bingo. Now that's what I call straight shooting. Steers up there mean business! Huh, that switch looks kinda important. Backup plan! 
I'll stay here and cover you. Alright! Who wants to eat some land? Are you all right? I am. No thanks to you. I should leave you in that cage after what you pulled, Sly Cooper. I know. Look, I can explain everything. Why, well, if it wasn't for this handsome and charming gentleman, I wouldn't even be here. Aw, oh, shucks. Handsome and charming? Really? Look, Carmelita, I know... Save it, Sly. All I want to know right now is how I get back to Paris. Actually, Carmelita, I was more curious how you got here in the first place. But guys, where's the van? We'll have to track it down later, Murray. Now, what were you saying, Carmelita? It's a long story, Bentley. Let's get moving and I'll tell you. I saw that arrogant little, that no good lying. Oh, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that smug look right up his face. I, 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 I should probably just finish my story. After the Cooper gang escaped at the museum, I decided to follow my nose and take a look around. I'd been investigating the trading of stolen antiquities on the black market, but I'd never guessed that two-faced ringtail was involved. Then as I turned a corner, I was stunned to see a huge stash of stolen treasure right there in the museum. And even more shocking, Cyril Le Paradox himself unloading them. I couldn't believe it. The billionaire art collector and museum patron was behind this? I was so surprised that by the time I reacted, his goons already had me covered. Then that slimy, sawed-off runt had me thrown into some vile machine. And the next thing I knew, I was playing cowboys and criminals. The Old West? Time travel? It was completely loco. Sure, Le Paradox had done some time in his youth, but he'd been squeaky clean ever since. And Interpol had never considered him a suspect. There were rumors about the source of his wealth, but nothing had ever been proven. Now I knew I'd solved that mystery. And of course, Cooper and his little friends were involved somehow. Why was I not surprised? <laughs> the flea bag tried to feed me some story about having to rob the museum to save the future. But I was done listening to that liar. I needed to get back to Paris. But that toad toothpick had stolen Murray's van and Bentley's time machine along with it. I finally cracked the case, and now I was stuck in this lousy dust bowl with the Cooper gang. I don't know what made me angrier. Not being able to bust the lowlife skunk, or being trapped here with that lying ringtail. Ooh. 
The only bearable thing about this whole mess was that at least Cooper's ancestor was a gentleman. All right, thanks to the bug in Toothpick's office, we have a pretty clear idea of what's going on. Toothpick plans on moving the stolen gold out of the mine using his special train. Unfortunately, that train is now also being turbocharged by our van. And need I mention that we're stranded in time unless we recover it? Well, anyway, it's useless to go after the train in the mine. Toothpick will have stepped up security since our escape, and the place will be crawling with guards. We're going to have to hit that train while it's rolling, but first, we're going to have to catch it, and we'll do that by diverting its route. After surveying the rail system, I've determined there are three key track switches we will need to throw, and Toothpick has entrusted the keys to three of his toughest henchmen, Wildman Wiesner, Frenchy Lestache, and Red Eye Robles. Furthermore, these guys keep the keys around at all times. The good news is that during the Toothpick Appreciation Festival, there are a number of contests, and all of them will be competing. Murray, I took the liberty of entering you in the Bare Knuckle Brawl Contest. Wildman is the defending champion, and he's sure to have the key on his person. Sly, I hope you're feeling fast, because you're going to be competing in the crookedest race in the West, the Toothpick 500. Frenchy happens to be the defending champ, so it's a sure bet it's his time that you'll have to beat. Carmelita, you'll be up against Red Eye in the shooting contest. As the defending champ, he keeps the trophy close by, with the third key inside. Now let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. Because, you know... Don't say it! That's how I roll. 
feel like I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Fry. You better get moving. Better keep an eye out for that jackalope. Concentrate, it's just a little further. Better keep an eye out for that jackalope. I'm so close I can smell that finish line. can't be here to shoot, because there ain't even no man around these parts can stand up to me. I see what you mean. I can barely stand you myself. But if you're scared of losing, I understand. <laughs> well, I just won the competition, so you're too late. But I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You just go right ahead, sweet thing. If you can beat my score, you get this here trophy. But if you lose... You gotta give me a kiss. What do you say? Ay, this guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carbolita, we don't have a choice. All right, I'll take your wager. But you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip wrestling. <laughs> This big jerk, how to shoot. This guy's in for an unpleasant surprise. I need to wipe the grin off this clown's face. I could do this left hand. Don't call me Top Shot at Interpol for nothing. Guys, in for an unpleasant surprise. The only thing this creature will be kissing is that trophy. Goodbye. Don't call me Top Shot at Interpol for nothing. What the? Oh, this ain't happening. It's like some kind of magic trick. The only thing disappearing is your trophy, Red Eye. Way to go, Carmelita. Now grab that key. Okay, eyes front, everyone. The clock is ticking on this one, so we don't have time to monkey around. Toothpick's gold trade is already rolling, and with the incorporation of our van, it's virtually impossible to stop. Thankfully, Tennessee was able to divert the trade's route, which gives us the chance we need to catch it. First, Murray, you're going to get the van back. It's positioned near the rear of the trade, acting not unlike a booster rocket. It's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards, and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train, where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly in Tennessee, you're up next. To ensure we stop Toothpick, we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train. 
Tennessee, you'll move through the cars, where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way. But your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One last thing. Don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're going to be able to pull this off. Everyone needs to execute their part of the plan perfectly if we're going to get the van, steal the gold, and stop Toothpick. Now let's move out! Self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff. Oh, blast you, Tennessee Kid Cooper! I'm -a gonna lock you in the deepest, darkest hole, and I'm going to throw away the key! Give it up, Toothpick! The fat lady is sung, and you are done! Oh, am I? Hey. My gun! Oh! 
<laughs> Thanks, kid! Lou Paradox sends his regards! Adios, Egypt! Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. It's all over, Cooper! Break out the tailbird costume, fly! Watch those lasers, fly! Why does everyone use lasers? Oh, is that the oh, best you've got? You. I'll make it quick for you! You need to focus. Off the way! <laughs> Maybe you should talk less and aim more! In the mouth! <laughs> oh, that hurts my ears! Who turned on that blasted whistle? I need to dodge this wrecking ball. Just took care of that, Bentley. No, why? The train! It's headed for a broken bridge! I'm guessing that wasn't part of the plan. Why? You have to get off that train! Jump to the van! Murray, hit the brakes! They're not working! And I can't shut down the rockets! What? You idiots! You call this a plan? Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh, I can't believe it's going to end like this. What in tarnation are they doing? And I was just wondering where that gold had got to. Bentley! Sorry, Murray. This has to work. Hey, that's my necklace. Here goes nothing. As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives. But now, we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when? Things weren't going very well. We'd landed somewhere, from the looks of it, prehistoric. I was slightly concerned when Bentley broke out the dinosaur repellent, but that was the least of my worries. The crash landing had damaged the van, so 
the time machine wasn't working properly. Not only was traveling back to Paris impossible, but we couldn't even raise Dimitri on the transceiver. Also, we still had no idea how the Paradox had managed to develop his own time machine. And that was a scary thought. Carmelita was still really hot about things. I just wanted a chance to explain, to tell her how sorry I was for getting her mixed up in all of this. Before we had a chance to talk, she stormed off in a rage. I tried going after her, but I figured that wasn't the best idea. Our conversation would have to wait, at least until she holstered that pistol. We decided the first order of business was figuring out where and when we were. And then, how we were going to repair the van. Otherwise, we'd have to get used to living in a cave, permanently.